What's going on out there, good people? And welcome back to LMD Trading, where I am living my dream trading. Hope everybody out there is doing well as we start a new week in the stock market. Today presented a lot of opportunities, I think. I think today presented a lot of opportunities that I did not capitalize on. Ended up taking two trades today. Two good trades, I think. Um, once we get to reviewing them, you might have a different opinion. Um, but I think we did well today, starting the week off. One thing you will notice is that I have switched back over to white charts. Um, I think the white charts are a little easier on my eyes. My eyesight has been playing tricks on me the last couple of years. I've always had good, I would actually say great eyesight, but last couple of years I've been needing these readers and um, I figured I would go back to white charts. I notice when I'm looking at white charts online on YouTube, um, they're a little easier on my eyes. You actually can see the candles a little better because you can kind of see the wicks on the candles. So figured I would give it a try and we're going to see how that works. We will switch on over to Trader View. Look at the details on what we did. Reviewing trades for Monday, May 15th. I took two trades today. Closed PL $96. Traded the SPY. Uh, very quick. A um, little pop on that one. We're actually in it 21 minutes, so it's not really all that quick. But uh, made $29 on that one. And then I traded AI. AI was actually something that I found on one of my scanners that I like to use. And it had also something that i think i'm going to be doing in the near future i'm not sure if i'll be able to get it started this week but possibly next week i will be streaming my um scanners and i'll, I'll give you a quick look at it um, just to kind of see what it's going to look like i may revise it just a little bit before going live with it but um ai was one that i found on one of those lists and it was something that I had initially thought that I might hold for a few days um, but ended up getting out of it left a little bit of money on the table on that bad boy um, but it is what it is I was happy with that trade so before we go into think or swim and look at the spy I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my right screen real quick and this is what I am referring to. What this screen shows is um, several of my scanners, my watch list, sorted in a certain way. So this is just my standard gap list. And I have it sorted by percent change since market opened um, gains. So that's what you see this is. And those are the results here. Previous day's high sorted by percent gains since the open. Then here I have the ad. You hear me talk about the ad all the time. This is the ad. This here is the ES. This here is the NQ. And then I have the same gap list sorted by percent change since open losers so losers this one here is stocks that are gapping or that are trading below previous days low sorted by biggest losers to smallest losers and then this here is just my standard gap list it's sorted by market percent changed gainers so how this works these scans right here don't go active 
until the market has opened. That's when those go active. This here is active anytime. This market percent change gainers. And then this column that you see is colored out, that becomes active once the market opens because those are showing you um, the percent change after the market is open. So that's how that works. I'll also have a legend once I get this online. So these will be labeled so you'll know which each of them are. And then there will also be a legend explaining what what you're looking at. So look for that in the near future. But let's go ahead. Let's come back on over to um, Thinkorswim. Look at the spy. One thing that I want to bring to y'all's attention. I'm going to come over to the hourly on the spy. Do y'all notice something? Do you notice this pattern that the spy had been doing? It ramps up and then it sells off. And then it ramps up and then it sells off. And then it ramps up. And look at where it ramps up usually after hours and pre-market. And then leading into the market, it sold off here. Ramp back up through the market, through after hours, come to market open, it sells off. It kind of ramps back up in the market, dips a little bit and then ramps up. And this is today coming into the market. It sold off and then ramped up. That's a pattern, y'all. These are kind of patterns that you could look for in a particular stock. And if you catch it in time, you can just ride those patterns out. Um, most of the time, this thing was flipping around. Let's see, it flipped at 10. Um, here, it kind of flipped a little later, more later in the afternoon. But you can kind of find these patterns or these trends. But this was today. This is what it did. Like I say, it offered opportunities. There were plenty of opportunities. The biggest opportunity of the day was AMD. And this was something that myself and Vega caught in the Discord this morning. Um, and like I said, I'm going to have to change, um, go in and play with these colors. The pink line here is previous day's low. But we caught this right as it came down the previous day's low. And I made the comment that, um, and I'm going to switch this over to the two minute real quick, just so we get a few more candles on there. Um, I made the comment that you could take this trade right here, put your stop at the low. So you have a clearly defined stop. You get in, breaking that candle, put your stop at the low because we're getting previous days low to act as support. And look at what this thing did, y'all. Look at what that did. That right there is a thing of beauty. That is a thing of beauty. And I did not take this trade. There were several other stocks that gave good opportunities. Tesla was another one that um, you see I have lines drawn on it. Um, one of the other gentlemen that hangs out in the Discord, he did take a trade on Tesla. But I saw opportunities out there. I just did not take them. And it was because I had already took the two trades that I took, and I was fairly content with those trades. So let's go ahead. Let's bring up those trades, and we will review them. So first one is going to be on the SPY. So I already got the spy chart pulled up. Let's bring up today's trade. And I don't see. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. I don't see trades, so we'll do that. And there's the trades. 
boom and boom all right so we're just gonna come straight on over here to the chart and drop some arrows so first arrow is going to be in this candle right here so i'm gonna drop that right there and then i'll come over here where we were getting out at and i'll drop that one right there um, I do think I have these recorded on my laptop. I just did not dump the trades today, but let's go ahead. Let's look at this thing. So we see that the spy opened flush down. We got this pullback again. These colors are just janky, but they are what they are. Purple line, this was a hourly down channel. This was an hourly down channel. You see the top of it up there. Um, blue line, weekly up channel. And this came, we get this pullback. This white line right here, or grayish looking line, is the previous day's close. I'm going to change that to black. Again, I need to go in and change all of my color settings for these white charts. I'll get that done probably this evening on most of the charts. But getting in as this is rejecting the um, hourly down channel. Easy stop. Easy places to put some stops. I could put one at previous day's close. Um, I gave this one a little bit more room. And... We see the trade works. We get this move down. And in the Discord, I say, I like, I'm going to go ahead, get out right here because I don't want to sit through a pullback. But I get out right there. I'm in at 197. I'm out at 211. So I make $29 on these two contracts. We get the pullback. This moves down lower. And this thing eventually sets a high of 242 over there. So 30 more dollars per contract. That's another 60 bucks. We almost making a hundred dollars on those two contracts. Um, had I stayed in the full length of the move, basically risking about um, ten dollars per contract though. So made three R on this trade. So this was a solid trade. Um, even though PL is only showing $30. Solid trade. Um, let's go ahead. Let's take a look at AI. And AI, again, found this off of the morning scanner. Look at this beauty of a move that AI made. Let's look and see where we got in. AI. Oh, man. Look at where it closed at. 240. Let's watch and see where we got in and where we got out on this thing. So, AI. This is a June 16th $25 call. When I bought this, intentions were... <clears throat> to hold this at least hold it until the end of day at least hold it to end of day i did not do that but let's go ahead let's take a peek see where we were getting in so getting in on this candle right here we'll just drop it there that was close enough i think they always say horseshoes and hand grenades close enough and then I get out on this red big candle coming back down. And when I get out, I know, I know I'm getting out at the wrong time. So, AI coming into the market open, flushing down, no worries, not even on my radar. This is nowhere near on my radar. But when this thing pops and it gets green on the morning 
it hits this list right here. This list is right in front of me as I'm trading. There you see it on the list. It's still what two, four, six, eight, nine slots up on this list. Now, when this initially popped on here, it probably was a little higher, but I'm constantly scrolling through this when my thumbnail watch list is not doing anything. So opens, makes this move, comes back down, makes the move back higher, pulls back, and it doesn't really look like I'm buying on a pattern because at that point, now I'm looking at the bigger picture. I'm looking at the bigger picture. I'm looking at things like the hourly. I'm looking at things like the 30 minute. Let's switch this over to the, uh, actually we'll switch it to the 15. I'm looking at things like the 15, like that right there. Big candle, little candle, not quite hitting the top, but I'm getting in right there as it breaks it. And look at what this thing does and look at what it continues to do. When I took this trade in the discord, I said, I want to stay in this until it hits 23. That's where I want it to stay in it till. But you see, I got out making $67. This I was up about $100 on this trade. The one issue with it is that it had a big spread. If you look right there right now, the spread is 15 cents. So it's a $15 spread between the bid and the ask. When I was in the trade, the, the spread was spreading between five and 10 cents. So five and $10. So if I stopped out on this trade, I, could, I can catch $10 in slippage. So I went on and I got out of the trade, just moving my target to get out. And again, when I did that, I knew I left a ton of money. This thing came back down. Um, this is probably going to be the 20 moving average. Yep, 20 moving average. Came back, tapped the 20, went a little higher, and then it just continued to rip. And like I said, it... I got out of it at $1.85. This thing closed at $2.40. So if I held it until the market closed, I would be up another $60 per contract. Um, let's see what the um, let's see what the high on this was for the day. That I did not see. There we go. $325. It hit a high of a of $260. We're in the trade at 150. So that's a hundred dollars per contract. And I just held this to the end of the day, which is what I wanted to do. Um, one thing I am I, I do want to do real quick is just I'm gonna click through a couple of these just to show you what these look like when the market opens. And let's switch this over to today. We'll switch it to today five minute just so you can kind of see. And this one in particular that I really want y'all to see. I'm hoping it's still up here near the top. But that's um actually we'll go today. Um two minutes. E L O X. Let's look at IBRX off the open. Nice move. This is the one I want y'all to see. O M. H. What I would say is OMG. This thing opens this morning, kind of pulls back down, taps 50 moving average, catches support just above previous day's low at $13.32. Comes back up, breaks previous day's close, breaks previous day's high, and this thing goes 50. $57 from $13. This would have hit my previous day's high scanner, which, like I said, I will have streaming. It would have hit that scanner, and it also would have hit getting green on the day right here, so it would have hit that scanner. 
this would have been my play right here. So it's breaking previous high of day. It's breaking, getting green on the day. It pulls back. Get in right there at 2681. A stop would be down there. And this thing is money. And this is, what is that? That's a dollar eighty stop. So if you are risking ten dollars, you need five shares at twenty-five or twenty-six dollars. Call it hundred and thirty dollars to take this trade, risking ten dollars. You need two dollars, so you need four dollars to get target. You need thirty dollars. You hidden target right there. Because you're risking two at 26 so let's actually call it 27 you need 31 that's target right there that's gravy and that's gravy so on a two dollar risk this thing goes thirty dollars that's 15 r that you making so that's the potential that you can make on small caps or not small caps but let's say small accounts with a cash account, it does not take much money, especially when you just starting to trade, especially if you are a new trader, you shouldn't be risking no more than five to ten dollars per trade. I've been trading a couple of years and you see, I still risk like ten to twenty five dollars per trade. That's because of the market that we in. And that's because what I want to make on a trade, I'm usually looking to make a um, hundred to two hundred dollars a day. I came up $4 short today in 30 minutes of trading. And like I said, I saw plenty other ideas that I could have took trades on and probably made a little bit more money, but I was good. It's a Monday. I always say Mondays. I come in the market with butterflies in my stomach for whatever reason. And um, I did not want to risk anything that i had already made this morning but we'll be ready to get back at it again tomorrow i have a meeting in the morning so i'm not sure if i'll be getting any trading in we'll see um i also just posted a picture of a futures trade that i took last night solid trade trust in the process took two contracts on the mnq some micros Stayed in that thing a good while, and I got what I wanted out of the trade. I was risking, I want to say, $20 on this trade um, and made $100, actually $130. I didn't record it, but I do want to um, recap that one. So I'm going to do a separate video just recapping that trade, kind of showing my thought process, showing um, why I got in, where my stop was at, and how I kind of managed it. So look for that. As always, thanks for checking me out. If you haven't, oops, hit the table. If you hadn't already hit that like button, please do. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. And as always, we can continue the conversation in the comments. On that note, I am up out of here. Peace.